Hey y'all, Brandon Hewitt here with Be Random Fishing and I got me a new rod. It is straight from China. Look at that, like, it took probably over a month to get here. The packaging looks all right. It's got a, it's a little dinged up. It's got just tape on both sides. See, this was kind of broke here when it came in. So hopefully it's not damaged. I'm super excited because this is supposed to be a nice rod. So let's get it open. I'm gonna open up the, this side first because it's kind of damaged already. Oh yeah, that just pops right off. Oh yeah. All right, let's get this right, this opened up. All right. So it comes with a rod sock. It's called the Angel Wing, special designed by Thomas. It's the Ace Hawk. It's a medium heavy. It says line six to 15. I don't know what kind of medium heavy that is because I'll be running like 50 pound braid on this thing. Let's go ahead and get it opened and see. You can see the stitching brand new out of the box. The stitching is already kind of screwed up. So hopefully the quality of the rod sock doesn't tell us how the quality of the rod is going to be. Check that, pretty carbon fiber out right there. Seed guide, precision rod components. Wow, you can see the carbon fiber, it's light. It feels really good. The rod blank comes all the way through, right underneath the reel where the reel's gonna be. The reel seat feels amazing. Like the knob feels nice and smooth. It's got this like velvet texture stuff right here on the on this knob. Ace Hawk production, it says on there. New generation sensitive right here. It says Ace 30P. I don't know what that means. Oh, that's slick. That's smooth. See that G right there? That's sweet. All right, where is the rod tip? Oh, okay, it's got two different two different pouches, so one for the tip and one for the butt. It's just a regular two-piece medium heavy rod. Oh wow. Look how tiny those guides are. Look at it like compared to my fingernail. Well, look at the rod tip. Look at how tiny that is. That could cause problems for me if I'm running like a a braid to fluorocarbon leader. Cause I like to run that 20 pound leader, if you know what I mean. And that makes it for a pretty big knot. Let me slip this rod together and see how it feels. Um, there's no markings in between the butt section and the tip section. Sometimes they'll put like a, like a little dot of paint to help you like line up the rod. But we're just gonna have to eyeball this one. Slide it together. Golly, that is, that is, it's very fast. Like, look at, it has like, I don't know if you can tell. You shake it, stop. It's like, no flimsy. It's not flimsy whatsoever. It's very solid. Golly, that's a solid backbone. Yeah, this is definitely a medium heavy. But this is probably going to be my new frogging rod. Bah, since I broke my my heavy ACK rod earlier. It is beautiful. CT702 medium heavy. Be careful. I'm pretty sure this says in Chinese that you can get hit by lightning while fishing. I'll put um, like a little screenshot of the page where I bought it and how much it was, because I can't remember off the top of my head how much this was, but it wasn't expensive. So we might have to go frog fishing in the morning, you guys. I'll see you on the lake. We're gonna try this Booyah Toad Runner Jr. I had awesome luck with this when I was fishing 
with my brother, but it wasn't a white one actually. It was this one. So I got both, two different colors. We can try them both out and see. We're gonna start with this white one. And we're gonna be trying out my new rod. That thing is sweet. Now the only thing bad about this frog is the tails here. They can come sometimes start to come apart. It happened on my other one. But look at this. That, those hooks are already bent up just a touch. They, I, I had two strikes, actually three strikes with this frog in my other video. And I landed two of the three fish. The only reason I lost the other fish is because it broke my rod, which is why I have a new rod. So we're going to see if we can break this one today or catch some donkeys. Just tying a regular polymer knot. Big loop over that whole frog. Can't even see with my polarized glasses on. I think that's about where he was. So you hear that? This thing's almost like a whopper plopper with that tail. All right, let's go get some real fishing done. Enough playing around at the boat launch. And don't forget to put your rudder down. Ooh, do not lose your sunglasses. That would be bad. Let me put you in a safe spot. And that's another thing I really like about this frog, is you can hit a spot right up in those reeds, twitch it a couple times. See that? When you don't get a bite, you can just burn it in and it looks like a whopper plopper. So you can still get a bite. You don't have to like ruin the whole cast. Bluegill touching it. Let's just give a rip right down this short line. Let that tail do its thing. Some little bluegills up in here. And a little bass right there. That was my first blow up. There are bass way up in there. He missed it though, it might be a little one. Hey y'all, as first impressions go, I'm super happy with this rod so far. It is very sensitive, it casts great, it's got a lot of backbone. I've got stuck in the weeds a couple times and it pulled this frog right out. Unfortunately, we couldn't catch any fish. They're, uh, they must be out deep. So we're gonna go try that next. But just for an uh, introduction to the new rod to the series, here is my Angel Wing by Ace Hawk. Medium heavy, seven foot, two inches. 
and you're going to be seeing a lot more of this thing. It is nice. So let's go get into some deeper water, see if we can catch some fish. I'll catch you on the next one. I want to put a reel on this just to see, just to see what it looks like. All right, I got my Daiwa. I love this reel. It's, it's a workhorse. I've had it for over 10 years. Let's go ahead and put it on here. I want to see what it looks like with a reel on it. Oh yeah, that's nice and solid in there. That is a good reel seat. No, oh yeah. No play whatsoever in that reel seat. Um, my black rod also, when you, here, let me get it. I'll show you. All right, so this is my Cabela's Mag Touch. It's like all carbon fiber with my lose. This setup looks sweet, but when you're fishing it, can tighten this down as much as you want and there's a little bit of play let me see if you can hear it hear that so there's a little bit of play like in the real seat and it's in the back end of the real seat and you can't tighten it down enough so i don't know if that's just because it's it's an older rod made for like bigger reels and this this reel is tiny or um it's just a, a like manufacturing defect because they don't even make this rod anymore but it's kind of frustrating especially like this is my medium setup so i use it for a lot of worm in i got a biospawn vial bug on here it's like my weightless texas rigs my my flukes it's like just a good medium light like very sensitive rod but that bothers me that play in the real seat this this one is solid there is no play in that real seat so yeah this thing is going to be a beast. My new medium heavy setup, guys. There it is. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. How many guides does it have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten guides.